hi guys hello 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 my darlings how have you guys been how are you guys doing i've missed you all and i'm happy 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 to be back okay welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if this is your first time you're highly 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 welcome my name is rookie you're not seeing my face because we are learning a sewing tutorial okay so you're welcome to my sewing lab in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to revamp your scrap applique okay so sometimes you're sewing and you have leftover from your applique and you want to trade the way <laughs> don't do that sis don't do that bro <laughs> don't trade the way i'm going to be showing you how you can revamp it and make it into something really nice so i'm going to be using all these um single petals i you can get this from the local market okay so this ones these big ones that i'm using right now are sold for i think 200 naira in my area sometimes you can get it for 150 for one okay and then the tiny tiny ones that's the smaller ones are sold for 50 50 naira in my area so you can actually like use roughly let's say 500 naira 600 naira and you have a brand new applique for another clothes most times these things individually are sold at 2k15 if you want to go and get it like already made okay so why don't you make your own you know and make money out of it okay <laughs> so yeah this is what we're doing right now so i'm just you know playing around with colors trying to know the ones that are going to match trying to know the ones that are going to be okay so just um depend on your creativity here there is no um blueprint or there is nothing just play around with your creativity okay okay so i just i had my template i had something that i i got something i have in mind and it was working for me so i decided to go right ahead okay so i'm using my glue gun here and i'm just using glue and i'm just placing it there okay you can see that golden piece of clothes down there that is just a base that i'm using so that the gum or the glue from the glue gun can will not touch my um um the clothes that's that my four clothes on the table okay how have you guys been like tell me what's up tell me what's good in the comment section if this is your first time please do well to subscribe i'm going to be making a sit down video very soon telling you guys what's up what's been up with me okay i made a community post some time ago telling you guys that we were organizing sales in my business and it went so well guys so so well please check out my instagram to you know know what's up okay <laughs> okay so basically this is just a very simple video you yeah, see what i'm doing it's not hard just play around the colors so this is me just choosing oh do i do red or do i do orange mm. and finally i chose orange okay so just play around the colors there is no um rule for this just very simple this is actually one of the quickest easiest tutorials that you are going to be watching and it's something you can do so if you don't have the glue gone and you don't have the candle wax for it you can use your um uhu gun that's your uhu gun or you can use your b6000 all those um fabric glues they can actually work very well for this tutorial okay so yeah that's basically that so i changed my mind about the army green i removed it and i went with red because as you can see it's giving it a more vibrant look with red okay i even went ahead to try blue like i said just play around you know just have fun while you're doing it by the end of the day i chose red because red is for pepe pepe <laughs> oh my god please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed guys we have 2k subscribers up and moving i'm very grateful to you guys thank you so 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 much if you've not watched my past tutorials or my past videos please do well too watch them this is me feeling excited because this thing was just turning out as i expected or as i had it in my head and i really like it when i envision something in my head and then it turns out as great as it was in my head so yeah i think basically this is it this is it <laughs> Oh, 
all right guys so that's it though we're almost done so i was just trimming off all the um the rough edges all um the excesses on this applique just so that it can come out lush fine you know the finishing can be so beautiful and so fine okay so who would have imagined that that scrap fabric they can work in <laughs> would turn out to something like this so you understand why i use that cloth right now so i just use it as a base for this so that that glue would not touch the fur yeah so make sure you use a base when you're doing something like this probably a paper newspaper pattern paper anything is fine just look at that just look at that beauty oh my god <laughs> oh this is so beautiful guys you can go ahead to um do this on all your scrap appliques please stop throwing your scrap appliques away they can you know be used for something else okay just use all of this this is really beautiful it mustn't even be this guys it can just be like anything that you feel can make something really beautiful so that's it guys that's it so easy and quick to do thank you so much for watching please do well to like share with your friends and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed do well to go back to my other videos and watch i'll see you guys in my next one bye